Apocalypse here. Uh, as you can see, I'm in here in my dungeon, and I'm getting ready to go down into my deep underground bunker. And I want to invite you guys along. Um, I'm going to share some news with you. So come along. Neo here with Neo News. TSA agent and head, head scarf friskus a nun. Tell me what is wrong with that phrase. I mean, seriously. A TSA agent in a headscarf? Frisks a nun? Okay, did we hand over rights to the Muslims to come over here and search anybody and let anybody they threw that they want? I mean, look at the underwear bomb. He got straight through, didn't have any problems at all. But a TSA agent in a headscarf risks a nun. Good lord, what is this country coming to? I mean, seriously, we have a president in office that has been proven that he has a birth certificate that is not from the United States at all, period. And he even states that he was not born in the United States. He wasn't even born in Hawaii. But yet, Congress still allows him to be president. What is going on here? I am so mad about this. I mean, it's just like the country's giving up. All the people in the country said, you know what, we don't believe all this stuff. Some of our, you know, some of the patriots have sat on their duffs and decided not to do anything except for do what I'm doing here now. Sitting here and making a video. Because nobody wants to get out their arms. What is wrong with this picture? That's what I ask you. What is wrong with us Americans? Are we that dumbed down? China Hawks demands Cold War on U.S. More than half of Chinese people question in a poll believe China and America are heading for a new Cold War. The finding came after battles over Taiwan, Tibet trade, climate change, internet freedom and human rights which have poisoned relations in the three months since President Barack Obama made a fruitless visit to Beijing. According to diplomatic sources, a rancorous postmortem examination is underway inside the U.S. government, led by officials who think the president was badly advised and was made to appear weak. In China's eyes, the American response, which includes a pledge by Obama to get tougher on trade, is a reaction against its rising power related links. Now, almost 55% of the question for Global Times, a state-run newspaper, agree that a Cold War will break out between the U.S. and China. An independent survey of Chinese language media for the Sunday Times found Army and Navy officers predicting a military showdown and, a politi and political leaders calling for China to sell more arms to America folks. The trigger for their fury was Obama's decision to sell 6.4 million worth of weapons to Taiwan. The thriving democratic island has ruled itself since 1949. We should retaliate with an eye for an eye and sell arms to Iran, North Korea, Syria, Cuba, and Venezuela, de declaring Liu Minjong a member of the Chinese People's Pol Political Consultative Conference. He added, we have nothing to be afraid of. The North Koreans have stood up to Americans as has anything happened to them. No. Iran stands up to America. Does disaster befall to it? No. Okay, so we used to sell arms to other countries and now it seems that now China is selling arms to us so 
we've basically given over power to China sold them all of our stuff and now we have no good stuff so now we are getting arms from them so it's a back and forth game that's the way I see it anyways that's all for Neo